Hello everyone. Welcome you to Klima Initiative, an initiative for better education. Today we'll discuss about a new topic that is evolution of first oil lamp in the world. Hope you will enjoy this topic and will also gain unknown knowledges from it. So, to stay with us, please subscribe our channel Klima Initiative now and don't forget to press the bell icon just after subscription to get notified soon now let's directly move to the topic the humble oil lamp may only be needed to provide light during the occasional power cut today in remote areas but for thousands of years versions of it allowed man to see by night as well as provide decoration and symbolic power in ceremonies and festivals an oil lamp is an object used to produce light continuously for a period of time using an oil based fuel source the use of oil lamps began thousands of years ago and continues to this day although their use is less common in modern times they work in the same way as a candle but with fuel that is liquid at room temperature so that a container for the oil is required a textile wick drops down into the oil and is lit at the end burning the oil as it is drawn up the wick starting in 1780 the argand lamp quickly replaced other oil lamps still in their basic ancient form these in turn were replaced by the kerosene lamp in about 1850 in small towns and rural areas the latter continued in use well into the 20th century until such areas were finally electrified and light bulbs could be used estimates suggest that crude lamps were first used around 80000 before common era a lamp is a vessel containing inflammable oil with a slow burning wick designed to draw up the fuel from the reserve early man made lamps from stone or shishel crucibles filled with animal fat with a piece of vegetation as a wick the first real oil lamp appeared alongside settled agriculture around 10000 before common era that is the upper paleolithic period otherwise known as the stone age with the planting of the first crops came the potentials for plant oil such as olive oil to be used in these lamps as well as a source of light there were important symbols in rituals and ceremonies the bible and the quran both contained many references sources of fuel for oil lamps includes a wide variety of plants such as nuts like walnuts almonds and cocoa and seeds like sesame seeds olive seeds castor seeds or flax seeds also widely used were animal fats like butter ghee fish oil shark liver whale blubber or seal camphene a blend of turpentine and ethanol was the first burning fluid fuel for lamps after whale oil supplies were depleted it was replaced by kerosene after the us congress enacted excise taxes on alcohol to pay for the american civil war Now let's visit the main external parts of a 
terracotta lamp starting with shoulder pouring hole the hole through which fuel is put inside the fuel chamber the width generally ranges from 0.5 to 5 cm in general there may be one hole or multiple holes secondly its weak hole and the nozzle maybe either an opening in the body of the lamp or an elongated nozzle in some specific types of lamps there is a groove on the top of the nozzle that runs along the pouring hole to recollect the oozing oil from the wick thirdly lamps can come with or without a handle the handle can come in different shapes the most common is a ring shaped for the four finger surmounted by a palmet on which the thumb is pressed to stabilize the lamp other handles can be crescent shaped triangular shaped or oval shaped handleless lamps usually have an elongated nozzle and sometimes have a lug rising diagonally from the periphery the lug may be act as a small handle where the thumb rests some lugs are pierced it was speculated that pierced lug were used to place a pen or straw called acus or festuca which the wick was trimmed others think that the pierced lug were used to hang the lamp on a metal hook when not in use now coming to the last one it's fuel chamber fuel chamber or the fuel reservoir the mean volume in a typical terracotta lamp is 20 ml lamps can be categorized on the different criteria including material they are made up of generally clay silver bronze gold stone slip shape structure design and imagery that is symbolic religious mythological erotics battles hunting generally lamps of the ancient mediterranean can be divided into seven major categories they are wheel made lamps this category includes greek and egyptian lamps that date before the 3rd century bc they are characterized by simplicity with little or no decoration at all a white pore hole a lack of handles and a pierced or unpierced lug pierced lug occurred briefly between the 4th and 3rd century bc unpierced lug continued until the 1st century bc secondly its volute or early empirical lamps with spiral scroll like ornaments like volutes extending from their nozzle these lamps were predominantly produced in italy during the early roman period they have a wide discus a narrow shoulder a handle elaborated imagery and artistic finishing and a wide range of patterns of decoration thirdly its high empirical lamps these lamps are late roman the shoulder is wider and the discus is smaller with fewer decoration these lamps have handles short plain nozzles and less artistic finishing fourthly its frog lamp 
This is a regional style lamp exclusively produced in Egypt and found in the regions around it between 100 and 300 AD. The frog, that is Heket, is an Egyptian fertility symbol. Now coming to number fifth, African Red Sleep. Lamps made in North Africa, widely reported, decorated in a red sleep. They date from the 2nd to the 7th century AD and comprise a wide variety of shapes including a flat, heavily decorated shoulder with a high and relatively shallow discus. The decorated is either non-religious, Christian or Jewish. Groups run from the nozzle back to the pouring hole. It is hypothesized that this is to take back spilled oil. These lamps often have more than one pour hole. Number 6. Sleeper The sleeper lamps are oval shaped and found mainly in the Levant. They were produced between the 3rd to 9th centuries AD. Decorations include vine scrolls, palm wreaths and Greek letters. And the last one, it's factory lamp. It is also called Germany in Feimelan pin. These are universal in distribution and simple in appearance. They have a channeled nozzle, plain discus and two or three bumps on the shoulder. Initially made in factories in northern Italy, the southern Gaul between the first and third centuries AD. They were exported to all Roman provinces. The first majority were stamped on the bottom to identify the manufacturer. Most modern lamps such as fueled lanterns have been replaced by gas-based or petroleum-based fuels to operate when emergency non-electric light is required. Therefore, oil lamps of today are primarily used for the particular ambience they produce today. Now coming to the end, hope you all like the detailed information about the evolution of first oil lamp in the world. To get information about such more interesting unknown topics please subscribe gliva initiative an initiative for better education and don't forget to press the bell icon just after subscription to get notified soon thank you